Hello all. So events are actually happening. Um, in a rather tense few weeks politically here in Israel with people waiting to see what was going to happen. Now, uh, if you see my earlier video, some of my, one of my earlier videos, I said that um, uh, Netanyahu's uh, pledge to return the mandate if he couldn't form a, form a government in the first week or so, I said that was probably just a political ploy. Turns out it really was just a political ploy. Uh, a little disappointed in BB, I am. Um, so his 28 days are up, and now it's over to Gantz. Now, in that earlier video, I said that I'm pretty sure that BB Netanyahu would not form a government, or could not. And I'm pretty sure that any Gantz also cannot form a government. Um, I said the BB had. I th thought BB had a slight chance, and Benny Gantz has no chance to form a government. Uh, Benny Gantz needs 61, 61 seats out of one hundred twenty in the Knesset. The only way for him to to gain at least sixty one seats is if he has every single left wing party, except the Arabs, except the Arab parties. I mean plus at least two right-wing parties. Now, don't be mistaken. The fact that the Arab parties, or most of the Arab parties, did um, lend their votes to him to, to be prime minister, to uh, gain the mandate, was not support for Gantz. It was opposition to Bibi Netanyahu. So... It's just not going to happen. We are going to a third to a third election this year. This is and this this is a very unprecedented year. There's a lot going on that's not been happening before. Now, um, will Bibi Netanyahu actually last to the third election? Um, he may or may not be being indicted. It was reported that he's being indicted, but that would but um, the the Justice Ministry has said that that it is not true yet. They are still um, going through all the papers that uh, BB's lawyers ha had presented to them. They're still um, processing all the information they need to process before they can actually decide whether, whether to indict him or not. So you may have heard people say, say that he's being indicted, but it, not yet. It might happen. Honestly, I think it probably will. I think he probably will be indicted on at least one thing, but I don't think he'll be indicted on all the things people are saying he's guilty of, because looking at the accusations against him, some of them seem very well-founded, and some of them seem not well-founded. So, that's what's going on here. Uh, can Benny Gantz save us from a third election? I hope so. Probably not. The only way... I think the only way that Benny Gantz could is if BB is indicted and willingly leaves Likud, so then he, so then um, Likud and Kaholavan can form a unity government together. Because resist, uh, refusal to sit with BB is really what's keeping Kaholavan and Likud apart from each other. So, you know, wish us luck. Good luck, Benny Gantz. You're going to need it. And uh, well, I'm going to be making a few more videos, so uh, please stay tuned in. If you uh, like what I like my videos, please uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, please comment below with anything you have to say. I'd really like to hear from you. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, have a good night.